Assalamu alaikum dear students. Uh, today we are going to start coordinate geometry. Uh, this is lesson one. Uh, you can't find any work from the book but uh, the work related to it is given on workbook. This is uh, the only lesson that we are going to do and only these uh, skills or attainment targets are going to be assessed in your exam. So let's start with that. In uh, this lesson we are going to first of all look at how to interpret a graph how to write down the coordinates of uh, some uh, point and how and uh, how we are going to plot the points when uh, uh, points on a grid uh, okay so let's start with this first uh, diagram where uh, you can see a grid is there and you can also see uh, four points on this uh, graph uh, now if we start with the beginning uh, we know that the horizontal axis are called x-axis and the vertical axis are called y-axis basically these are two number lines uh, one is uh, plotted horizontally and the other is uh, plotted vertically and where these two uh, lines meet or the point of intersection and uh, that is also represented by zero that is called origin so where you see the uh, their point of intersection and you can also see uh, zero is written there uh, that's is uh, that is uh, the point of intersection of these two lines and it is called origin now uh, if we have to uh, work out uh, the coordinates of uh, at this point where the school is written we know that the first move is to be taken along horizontal axis if it is positive you will move towards right if it is negative you have to move towards left and the second move is always taken along vertical axis or the y-axis and if it is positive you have to move up and if it is negative you have to move down so if you want to reach a school here on this grid you have to first of all move towards uh, right and how many places two places you have to move towards uh, right side and then you have to move vertically and how many places you have to move four places or four jumps to reach school so the coordinates of a school are going to be 2, 4 and we need to write these coordinates within uh, brackets within parentheses so the first coordinate this means that always represents uh, the position or the movement along x-axis and the second which is followed by a comma it will always represents a, a vertical uh, position so if i ask you uh, what are the coordinates of city hall here uh, then uh, how you will determine that uh, from the origin you have to move four places to the left and then you have to move three places above along y-axis so the coordinates of city hall are going to be minus four comma three and you need to write these within brackets so this is how we uh, determine the points or we find out the coordinates of a point in the same way if you, we have to reach the library you uh, know that the first movement is to be taken along uh, x-axis so you will move six uh, digits or boxes towards right and then two boxes down along y-axis so in this way the coordinates of library are going to be six comma minus two and the same way if you have to reach city park then uh, starting from the origin you will move two places towards left this way your x coordinate is going to be minus two comma uh, you have to move vertically downward to reach city park and uh, this means you have to move six uh, digits or places down so the coordinates of city park are going to be minus two comma minus six and once again you need to write these coordinates uh, within uh, parentheses or brackets same is the case here you can determine the points of these uh, four points a b c d you can determine the coordinates yourself uh, one more, more exercises here you can once again determine uh, the coordinates of these points except uh, point e so how we are going to determine the uh, coordinates of point e and b because these are lying on uh, point e is lying on x axis whereas point b is lying on uh, y-axis so if we determine the uh, coordinates of point e uh, you uh, know that the first movement uh, is uh, to be along x-axis so uh, starting from a region you will reach at e you have to move one place or one digit towards right so the first coordinate or the x-coordinate is going to be one comma 
the second movement is always along y-axis as you know that you are not moving any distance along vertical axis so this means your second coordinate is going to be zero so the coordinates of point e are going to be one comma zero within brackets okay so this also means that any point that is lying on x-axis its second coordinate or y coordinate is going to be zero same is the case for point b uh, starting from origin uh, you know that you uh, do not have to move uh, along x-axis so this means that your first coordinate is going to be zero in case of point b comma the second coordinate is going to be minus four because you are moving down and uh, its second coordinate is going to be minus 4 so the coordinates of uh, point b are going to be 0 comma minus 4 so this is how uh, you can also determine rest of the points but these were important these were different as compared to the previous slide so i just explained that now uh, some important uh, concept here and uh, you can see on this uh, slide uh, you can see two parallel lines are there and their equations are also given uh, the uh, equation of the first line is given as y is equal to 2x plus 1 whereas the equation of the second line is given as y is equal to 2x minus 3 now we are going to determine uh, or if the equation of a line is given and we are asked to determine its uh, slope or gradient slope and gradient means the same things so gradient refers to the steepness of a line okay now how we can determine that uh, whatever is attached to the va value of the variable x that is called the gradient of that line for example in the first equation equation y is equal to 2x plus 1 2 which is written in red that determines or that tells you about the gradient of this line this first line in the same way if you look at the second equation y is equal to 2x minus 3 in this equation once again whatever is attached to the value of the variable x that is going to be your gradient or the gradient of the line so once again in the second equation the gradient is also the same it is 2 so this means that we can determine that or we can extract that whenever the lines are parallel they have same gradients and the converse is also too, uh, true if the gradients are same the lines are going to be parallel now one more thing that uh, you need to understand from this graph uh, the second part of the equations also tells us something about the equation for instance in the first equation y is equal to 2x plus 1 this one tells us that this line will intercept y-axis at point one so this means that the second part of the equation always tells you the y-intercept of that line in the same way if you look at the second equation which is y is equal to 2x minus 3 the second part minus 3 tells you that this line is going to intercept y-axis at point minus 3 or minus 3 is the y-intercept of this line